Hello everyone, uh, just going to review real quick with you the gantry riser kit. Uh, of course you get two of the risers, you also get four extended carriages. The hardware kits, basically you get two bags, uh, one bag for two extended carriages. They contain the bearings, the bolts for attaching the bearings, two nuts, four lock washers. And the way they assemble is this one here uses a bolt and a lock washer. The bolt goes through the bearing. You put a lock washer on after that and then you screw it in to the extended carriage. The other one uses a bolt and a nut along with the washer. Same scenario. The bolt goes through the bearing. Lock washer goes on the other side except they go through the slotted holes that are in the extended carriages uh, and then there's a set screw that you use for adjustments the nut sits in here uh, so that you can tighten it up you'll need to screw these out almost the whole way uh, to allow yourself some room and then basically that's what it looks like at that point the other thing you get with a riser kit is you then get a set of eight bolts for each riser and those are used then to attach the risers to the uh, the extended carriages to the riser uh, the other thing you get is the bolts needed to attach the uh, y-axis cross member the big uh, three by six uh, aluminum extrusion there are eight uh, total of 16 uh, eight for each one for doing the attachment up here and then of course there's two shorter ones that are used to connect it from the bottom now the other thing you get is then these uh, shorter screws here and what they are used for is mounting the brushes now these have been powder coated so you're probably best to go ahead and re-thread the bolts and then run them down to the bottom uh, of the thread on the bolt and then take them back out again to clean the threads out. Uh, from there, there's also a little box with the brush assemblies in them. Basically, they're in pieces. You have a piece of aluminum extrusion and a cut off piece of brush. The brush then slides into the aluminum extrusion. You then bolt it to the bottom. It'll bolt on like this from underneath. It's best to put these on prior to putting the risers on because it's extremely difficult to get to the bolts in the back side once the risers are on unless you run the riser assembly off. You'll also probably want to use a couple of clamps, uh, pretty much a must if you want to try and get everything uh, secured properly. Now this is all, again, kind of temporary until we get the uh, uh, Y-axis uh, extrusion put on both sides. Uh, then we can start the alignment process. These basically will allow you then to hold these together and tighten these bolts down. The adjustments, of course, can be made underneath. If you have clearance opening underneath, it makes it easier to get at the set screws. There's just enough room uh, to get in there with a wrench then to tighten down the bolt for the bottom bearing, which is the adjustable bearing. Um, again, this is pretty slug, snug right now. Uh, and I just have these clamps on here for show and tell. And they'll probably need some adjustments to get them just about the right tension um, after we get everything put together and aligned. And of course then the rails will have to be loosened so that we can work from one end over and then down to uh, get square between the two. Um, only other thing I want to mention at this time, you got to remember when you're tightening up these bolts in the extended carriages. These extended carriages are aluminum so you have to be careful that you don't over tighten them otherwise you will strip the threads out. My suggestion would be you bring them down snug and go maybe a quarter return past snug once the lock washer seats uh, just to make sure you have enough just enough torque to hold them in place. Uh, the lock washers will keep them from spinning uh, but if you over torque them, you're probably going to strip the threads out. So just be careful with that whenever you do your assembly. So at this point, 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting on the other gantry riser and then we'll work on getting the uh, y-axis extrusion cross member put on and we'll take it from there thanks for watching